The markets went crazy today. We're talking weed stocks, industrials, healthcare, tech, everything went crazy. Even AMC had a retracement in the beginning of the day and almost was able to go positive we are up a little bit here in after hours and i want to go over what i expect tomorrow as well as next week also i want to go over the news that did come out today and the data that you guys need to know and i want to make it crystal clear here in this video that shorts have not been covering on their amc short positions it's exactly the opposite we have seen retail investors head back into amc stock like i have called out that was going to happen for a while now it was inevitable and you've seen shorts take that opportunity to short the stock even more it sounds ludicrous we'll get into it hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already and get yourself those free stocks down below in the description and come join the trading community if you guys want to be up on these trades as soon as i make trades i send out alerts but other people send out their own trade ideas as well in there and it's a great community to be a part of and on that note i will go over my uh cannabis trade that i do have because i think there's a lot of opportunity there but it's not uh, something that you should YOLO into really take into consideration your own risk management profile now Let's get into the news that you guys need to know and one of the bigger headlines that did come out today Was that Biden says Russia needs to be removed from the G20 as well as they are gathering evidence of war crimes against Russia Now this could go either way I don't have any specific opinions on how the market would take this But I think the markets have really priced in the war crimes that have been going on Russia being isolated from the world and possibly even becoming a terror state like a uh, north korea or iran putting them in that category they kind of already are so i don't think it's going to be a huge deal for the markets but then again we've seen crazier things move the markets now morgan stanley shifts to see 50 base point hikes from the fed this seems like a bad headline but the markets have already priced this in if we take a look at the fed rate monitor tool we are not looking at 68.3 percent of market participants are expecting a half percent rate hike by that may 4th meeting that is five weeks away and five days days away so it's a little bit over a month away but markets are already pricing this in and i think it's kind of just spreading fud at this point to come out and say you know we're expecting you know half percent rate hikes or you, you, watch in a week or two you're gonna see people that are saying we're, we're expecting a one percent rate hike increase i don't think that's personally going to happen but uh, if we get that half percent rate hike in may the markets would likely rally because we're already pricing that in right now now I do want to go over the marijuana headlines that are coming out because this is making for a very interesting trade, which I will also get in, uh, get into here in just one second. So it says Senate passes bill to expand medical research on marijuana and, uh, implementations for a lot of different stocks that's a great thing that came out 12 minutes ago so after markets did close the headline that really started all of these you know weed stocks to rally was the house panel to consider bill to decriminalize marijuana monday we've seen a lot of these uh different you know decriminalization uh, acts or even legalization acts that have been voted on that really haven't went anywhere but even if they do get entertained and these stocks rally it tends to be a buy the rumor sell the news kind of event no matter what happens so keep that in mind while we go through this this marijuana trade that i'm going to show you because likely coming even on monday or next week you'll likely see uh, them take a sharp move down could be wrong but that's what typically happens it's a buy the rumors sell the news kind of event now as far as the trade that i actually did put on today it was on chronos actually because the premiums were very cheap and this thing has went up another 18 cents 19 cents here and after hours at four dollars 18 cents i bought the cron five dollar calls for april 14th about 20 of them at six cents a piece now i mean tomorrow they're going to be up a lot as long as this rally does does hold through after hours and it does continue but i do think chronos could take another uh leg up and i think it could be good but definitely uh go into these trades with a risk management profile in mind what's the max loss what's the max gain it's up to you to come to your own conclusions on that but i do think chronos is a good one and that is my personal trade if you guys want access to all of my trades in real time link down below in the pinned comment this one was up 66 percent for the day and uh hopefully 
hopefully you guys that are a part of the trading community took advantage of these uh, trades because it was pretty wild today. But that's all you guys need to know for the news. Not too much else to actually add. If you if you guys want to stay up to date with all of the news, when I uh, retweet things or post different uh, news catalyst, whatever the case is, go follow me over on Twitter, link down below in the pinned comment. Now let's talk about AMC, specifically why we know, and I talked about this earlier in the last video, how we know that shorts have not been covering. So it's pretty clear that the return shares are lagged behind two days. So two days ago was March 22nd, AMC went up 15% March 22nd. You would think this was a shorts covering kind of move. 80, almost 82 million shares of the traded hands up 15%. But what happened? Return shares of 1.94 million. That's it. 1.94 million. We have seen borrowed shares each and every day excess of 2 million or more. You know, 2 to 5 million borrowed shares every single day of this rally, which... If shorts were covering and this was really a short squeeze, you would have to at least see the return shares higher than the borrowed shares, and you're seeing uh, not a lot of return shares. So this is not shorts covering. It's retail investors that have pushed their money back into the stock and pushed the stock up higher, which was inevitably going to happen but as far as the short interest of free float you're looking at 21.24 percent current shares that are sold short of 109.47 million cost of borrow max of 5.1 percent and utilization of 100 percent days to cover at 2.87 if we take a look at the option flows the positive order value of 64 percent 51 orders totaling 19.92 million dollars positive order value of 64 percent so yet again another high dollar amount of options options that are being traded on AMC stock skewed significantly to the bullish side. Even halfway through the day today, during the last video that usually comes out in between noon and one o'clock, the positive order value was 49%. Now it's 64%. And we, ha we have seen a move up in the share price since the second half of the day today. And that's a lot of orders, number one, 51 for today and 86 for yesterday, as well as the dollar amount here is equivalent to a week or two uh, of a normal week's worth of option activity for AMC stock. So this does imply to me that we're probably going to make that move back to the upside. But what is going on today? This is a consolidation day. As you guys do know, even if, even if we were seeing a short squeeze, which is a big if, because I'm not seeing it anything to suggest that's the case then you don't see the stock go straight up you might see the stock go up a hundred percent one day come down 30 percent the next day go up 200 percent the next day come down you know 50 percent the next day that's just how it's going to go and since we have made this huge huge rally i mean this rally has been insane we've had one two uh this day we were only down a quarter percent so Take it for what you want, but pretty much one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positive days in a row. And we hardly seen a negative day today, just down two and a half percent. It's really, really good. And we're holding these key levels above 1850, but still under our resistance level at about $21 per share. $22 per share is going to be the main level we have to break out above. If we can, then you're pretty much going straight to $25 in my personal opinion. And I think that's very possible to happen even uh, tomorrow. I don't want to get you guys too excited, but it's possible tomorrow as we you know, if we do see a move up, you're going to see a lot of options that start to go into the money. Certainly possible. I wouldn't YOLO any options based off that, but certainly next week looks to be very, very good. Now we will come back to the technical analysis in just one second, but I do want to call out this article and just read the headline for you guys. Oh, it says analysts, investors see risks spiking, fear market wide liquidity crunch. What have I been talking about for a very long time? Liquidity crunch i've literally said those words in probably 30 videos now liquidity crunch and that is what you are starting to see that's why you're actually seeing the markets rallying today it's not because people are buying these stocks well they are but it's not because people all of a sudden turn bullish on the markets if you look at the s p 500 the actual uh return shares 6.3 million 6.3 million that's a a lot for for the s p 500 
and you did get the settlement day for March 15th. The short interest that just came out at 17.89%. We're down almost 1% uh, since February 28th as far as the short interest. So you're seeing some shorts covering in the broad markets. And uh, that's what's going on. And it's due to the liquidity crunch when you don't have enough money to service margin calls or when positions start to go against you you have to make that decision do you stay in that position do you risk uh blowing up your portfolio if things go south on you or do you cover take a small loss and move on with your day obviously shorts for amc stock are not doing that and they continue to dig in and dig their own graves in due time so i think that's very important to point out but uh, nonetheless, there's a lot of risk factors that are still here. And uh, I don't think everything's as cozy and peachy in the markets as people, uh, or as I should say, the markets look like. We have been pretty much going straight back up. But nothing has really changed in the markets. Nothing has fundamentally changed. Things have actually got much worse. So keep that in mind throughout your trading. Wanted to throw that in there as well. As far as the data for tomorrow, uh, you do have a lot of Fed speakers, Fed Barkin, Fed Wallard, and Fed Williams in between about 9 and 11 a.m. tomorrow. Pending home sales, that's another big data point, as well as Michigan consumer sediment. That does tend to move the markets around a lot. So pay very close attention to that when it comes out, because that is a very rep rep reputable uh, survey. And uh, markets pay attention to it, so do trade trading algorithms. So uh, those are really the key things that you need to know for tomorrow. European Council meeting as well tomorrow. Who knows what the headlines are going to be? That's what moves the markets. That's why it's so hard to really predict what is going to happen this day and age. I mean, what do you do when uh, one headline, whether it's bullish or bearish, can move the markets up or down 1% on a drop of a dime you got to be very nimble here with your trades and go with certain sectors that are doing well and uh be very diligent have your stop losses on all of that stuff if you are trading some of these more speculative trades like the chronoses of the world like the marijuana stocks make sure you have a stop loss on a lot of these trades not financial advice i think that's more of uh sound advice that's what i would tell my mother uh if she traded options so i think that's uh the respect that you guys deserve as well now the max pain if you guys did not watch the video earlier that is at 18 dollars by tomorrow would signify some potential downside but amc is not really taking a big move down here and after i was down half percent but uh considering where we were intraday at uh about where were we at about 18 dollars 85 cents per share uh we're still up dramatic you know huge from those levels uh sitting at about twenty dollars uh 12 cents right now so still above 20 and that's uh definitely a very bullish thing in my personal opinion as far as the volume 67 and a half million shares that traded hands the macd is still incredibly bullish the rsi was approaching that overbought level and we have since come down a little bit still elevated but considering the rally that we have seen uh it's good that we're not above 70 so it's not indicating you should sell out if you're a trader it, 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 it's, it's kind of in that range where it could go either way right now like i said if we do for whatever reason break out above 22 dollars, that's going to be the key level watch that 25 dollar 100 day moving average and i do want to point out we are still well above the 20 day simple moving average and this will likely turn into support the longer that we remain above the 20 day simple moving average it'll start to go up like you guys see right here it bottomed out around 1650 now it's uh sitting at almost 17 dollars so the longer we stay up the higher the 20 day simple moving average goes the basically lower our potential bottom is going to be here in the short and mid term but i am very excited about what i see but how i like to trade this is just buying the shares and holding them be very careful with the options because things can uh, do what you don't predict them to do uh, more times than not. What do they say? The market can remain irrational longer than you can remain solvent. That's a huge saying. And I think that is more true now than ever. So I think that's everything you guys need to know. Let me know if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Come join us on the live stream 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day, uh, Sunday through Thursday. It's a little bit weird not saying Monday through Friday, but Sunday through Thursday. Thursday. The only days we don't do that is Friday and Saturday because there's no futures open and you don't have trading the next day. So thank you guys for tuning in. Get your free stocks links down below in the description as well as come join the trading community. Like I said, if you guys want to be a part of that. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.